There's so much to know about green screen. There's the lighting, there's the space, there's the software. But you know the one thing we never talk about? The camera. And there is a perfect camera for shooting green screen. Want to see it? Anyone can learn how to make an incredibly convincing green screen video, but if you don't have the right kind of camera for you, you will struggle, and you don't need to. Welcome to The Visible Authority, where people learn to get their outside appearance to reveal their inner expertise, and nowhere is that more revealing than in how someone chooses to make a green screen type video. After teaching others how to do this for almost a decade, I've learned that there are basically three kinds of people who want to make green screen videos, and they are so different from one another. There are those for whom the image is everything. They don't care one bit about ergonomics or cost or any kind of inconvenience. They just want the absolute best results. They'll pay whatever it costs and do whatever it takes because they strongly believe that eventually, it'll all work out one way or another. The second kind of user wants to balance cost and complexity with quality and convenience. In other words, they're a value buyer. They like to weigh the advantages versus the disadvantages before making a decision because they strongly believe in living with the decisions they make. Now, the third type is, well, the MacGyver type of person. Smart, resourceful, spontaneous, and frugal. They'd rather research and build their own teleprompter than buy one if it means saving $50 because they strongly believe that it's their inner knowing that adds to the value they bring to the world. And here's the point. The camera that's perfect for person one would drive person two up the wall with too many choices. And the camera that's perfect for person two would make person three feel completely useless and depressed. Happily, believe it or not, there is a perfect camera for each of these folks. So now let me define what I mean by the perfect camera for shooting green screen. When footage comes from the perfect camera and gets dropped onto the editing timeline and the green screen filter is applied, whether on a Mac or a PC, the work is done with the possible exception of one or two subtle setting changes to account for subtle changes in lighting. In other words, the perfect green screen camera reduces your post-production workload to less than a minute. And just like the three kinds of people using them, the three cameras we're going to look at couldn't be more different from each other. And I'm not talking about picture quality, which is more subjective, but more along the lines of uh, cost, complexity, and convenience, the three C's. Each of them will get a score on this. Why give these cameras a CCC rating at all? It's because it's always difficult to imagine what your life experience will be like before you get the camera. The CCC rating is the best we can do to give you a sense of what it will be like to actually use the camera. If it doesn't suit who you are, you won't enjoy using it and you won't get good results. Heck, you might, you might even give up on using video altogether. The first kind of camera that'll make a perfect green screen video is one you might already own, as do maybe 300 million other people. Of course, I'm talking about the iPhone, as long as it can do 4K, which means the 6S and up. To shoot green screen, you just add an app called Filmic Pro to get access to the ISO, white balance, and shutter speed. And you can download another app for an iPad or another iPhone called Filmic Remote and get access to all of the controls remotely and see exactly what you're filming, like here. This is especially helpful when the phone is hidden behind the hood of a teleprompter. Total investment would be about $25 in apps and another couple of hundred for a good microphone and an audio recorder. Yes, you can record right into the iPhone with a $15 mic if you want, but if I was going to all the trouble of creating the perfect green screen video, I'd want to have great audio. And yes, you are watching this on the iPhone. 
it gets a CCC rating of 20 out of 30 because of the Filmic Remote app. Otherwise, it's a 10. The second kind of perfect green screen camera is the Sony AX100. It's also a 4K camera, but it's completely self-contained. It makes pretty pictures and, uh, and is the ultimate in convenience. It even has this cool little remote that helps you stop and start the recording, as well as adjust the framing. You don't have to buy a separate lens, though it does need a preamp for optimum audio. But it's the kind of camera that you can set up, come back to in a month, flip open the viewfinder, and start shooting. It also has pretty smart automatic controls for the image, like auto white balance, auto exposure, and auto focus. So there's almost nothing you need to set up to shoot awesome green screen videos. I mean, you can, and you'll get better results if you do use the manual controls, but in a pinch, you can get by on full auto. I've probably made a hundred green screen videos with it. Cost-wise, this camera, all in with a great microphone and audio preamp, will probably be pushing around the $1,700 price point. I think it's best for individuals or businesses who want the least amount of complexity and the biggest bang for the buck. You're watching video from that camera right now. CCC rating is 28 out of 30. Now, camera number three is the Panasonic GH5S 4K mirrorless camera. Yeah, it's a real mouthful. It has a silky smooth picture profile with all of the important shooting functions just one button away. But it still has a low convenience factor in that you can't start recording remotely. You can't adjust settings remotely. And you have to match the, the lens to the camera for your particular shooting situation. And if you want optimal audio, you'll need to add a preamp or record separately into an audio recorder. So why is this at the top of the pyramid? See, when it comes to green screen, the more pixels, the better. And this camera gives you up to four times more raw information and twice as much color information than any other camera in its class. It's just not a budget buy. With a halfway decent lens, special recording media, uh, a nice low impedance microphone and preamp, you're looking at an investment of nearly $4,000. This camera is for a person who will be making a lot of videos for green screen, wants best in class results, and is willing to sacrifice a little convenience to get a lot of value. The picture you're looking at right now is from that camera and the CCC rating is 12. I think the CCC rating is useful in giving you a sense of what your life will be like with any of these cameras. Before I developed the rating, I intuitively went from, well, from camera to camera to camera to camera, always looking for the best ergonomics balanced with the best specifications. As long as it wasn't, you know, one of these, a DSLR. I hated those things. So complicated, so hard to use, just to get a little extra performance out of them, at least for what we do here. But one day, while setting up my new GH5S, I realized that the market was never going to deliver what I wanted in the old form factor, like this, at a price point I also wanted. The future of high-end video was going to be mirrorless because of the way they could pack so many features into such a small package. It's all about the packaging. That's why this had to be a demo, because it's possible that no matter what kind of person you are, just seeing the image each of these cameras get under identical conditions, you might decide that image quality one way or another is way more important than ergonomics. So that's it. Bottom line, there is a great solution for every need and every budget, because any one of these cameras can be used to transform you into a green screen wizard. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you become 
more of who you are in the world. And we'll see you next time on The Visible Authority.